In this video, we're gonna be showing you subdivisions with some of the most incredible views from mountain views to lake views, river views, and much, much more. Then we're also gonna be showing you neighborhoods that have some of the best amenities, the best access to things from access to purgatory ski resort to access to fishing, access to hiking trails that back up to these specific subdivisions that are private for you if you live in these subdivisions. Then we're also gonna be showing you subdivisions that have great access to fishing specifically, either private ponds on these homes or ponds that are just for these neighborhoods as well as private river access and we're jumping into it right now. Now keep in mind, I always like to mention that I'm not just gonna show you amazing homes, amazing subdivisions, and show you what's amazing about this area. We're also gonna show you some of the cons, show you some of the negatives, talk about the distance to town, how some of these subdivisions are further from town, further from skiing in some cases. Then we're gonna talk about some of the, maybe road noise that some of these subdivisions have, and just make sure that you're aware of all the cons of these subdivisions as well. I'm gonna make sure that you guys know some of the custom home builders, some of the custom home Homes that are in these areas and just the access that they have to things and the access they don't have as well. Guys, if you've been thinking about moving to Durango, I'm a licensed realtor here in Durango, Pagosa, Bayfield, the Southwest area of Colorado, as well as New Mexico. Reach out, give me a call, text, email, days, nights, weekends, would love to help you with all of your real estate needs. Now let's jump into the video. Now we're here at the subdivision called Two Dogs. Now before I dive into the subdivision and what amenities it has, I'll tell you my family and I absolutely love hiking, fly fishing. I personally love fly fishing and we love mountain biking so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the amenities here first directly across the street from this subdivision is the Albert Creek trailhead there's some great parking right there so you don't have to worry about getting across the highway turn the camera around and show you and it's a phenomenal 9.9 .9 mile hike you can hike up to the top of this and to get here it's only about hour and a half round trip to the top of that and you've also got just up the road you've also got Hermosa Creek Hermosa Creek is a phenomenal little creek to fly fish. It's kind of in the in the Purgatory Ski Resort area. You just drive back behind Purgatory Ski Resort. And so I want to start by telling you the amenities, all that to say, the amenities around two dogs are absolutely stunning from the fishing to the hiking like I just discussed. So let's dive in, tell you a little bit more about the subdivision. Now I'm here in front of the Two Dogs subdivision gate, which is probably the most elaborate, intricate gate that I have seen out of any subdivision in Durango. Check this out, oversized barbed wire for the gate. And then as I step out here into the sun, you can see on top of the roof is this grass up here, kind of like something out of Lord of the Rings. They've got cameras, they've got your mailboxes, they've even got a fireplace there. So if that gives you any idea of what this subdivision is like, it's a really cool subdivision. Let's get into the details of the subdivision. They're only about five minutes away, four minutes away or so from Purgatory Ski Resort. Right across the street is a convenience store. Right down the road is a really good pizza spot as well. So you're not tucked back in the mountains with no amenities here, which is really nice. Now, talking about the subdivision itself, Itself, really exquisite, stunning luxury homes throughout this subdivision. And something that really sets itself apart is some of the most incredible views of Lake Electra and the mountains behind the subdivision. Now, speaking of that, you don't really have access to the lake from the subdivision, unfortunately, but just down the road, you can get into the lake as you do have to pay as it's a private lake. Now, keep in mind, there are several lots in here that do have access to stocked fishing ponds. Uh, there's a small pond with a private dock for ideal for paddleboarding, canoeing, kayaking, a uh, 10 acre stocked pond that is shared with lots one, three, and six. So only three lots have access to that, but it's really incredible in in that there are very few subdivisions that have access straight from the property to a lake where you can paddleboard, use the property, etc. There are several subdivisions like Falls Creek Ranch, The Ranch, Florida River Estates that do have lakes and ponds, but none where the homes are right directly on them and you can access and use that water. So I just wanted to give you that information so you can compare to other areas and see what else is out there. Now let's talk a little bit more about the subdivision. So the HOA is 8,500 
100 per year. It covers sewer, trash, and snow removal. Keep in mind, it is central water, central sewer, so that's part of the reason that that number is where it's at. Then the elevation, you're just under 9,000 feet elevation here. So keep in mind, you are gonna get quite a bit of snow. What I did is I went to Durango Weather Guy's website, his blog, and looked at, he actually does a really good job of posting the amount of snowfall that each subdivision gets in a winter storm. So what I did is I pulled a storm last winter, looked at the totals, and I've got those totals for you. So this subdivision, as well as some of the other subdivisions we're gonna be talking about, got about 30 to 35 inches of snow in this specific storm that I pulled online. Whereas in town Durango, downtown Durango area got about five inches. So you're getting about 25 inches or about five times the amount of snow that you're getting in town Durango. So of course you're really close to the ski resort. You're probably gonna expect that, but wanna make sure I can put that into context for you. Also wanna mention, hey, let me know if there's other subdivisions you're looking at and I can tell you the snowfall totals of those subdivisions as well. So just wanna mention that as well. Now, continuing on about the subdivision, what I really love about this subdivision that is kind of hard to tell and just in comparison to others is you're gonna get some really, really breathtaking, stunning views in this subdivision. The subdivision kind of climbs in elevation and there's some homes that sit back further that back up to National Forest. So you're gonna have that access to National Forest. Nobody's gonna be built behind you. There's no, not gonna be any homes built behind you. And another concern that a lot of people bring up, I'm gonna turn my camera around. As you can see, you've got the highway, Highway 550 right behind us here. Now, of course, beautiful views, but you've got the highway. So I wanna mention that these homes are set back pretty far from this gate where we're at. So you don't hear quite that same traffic noise that you're gonna hear from where I'm standing right now. Then Electra Lake and Haviland Lake entrances are only about 15 minutes away from here. We'll put on the screen the distance to those, Electra and Haviland Lake. So you've got great access to lakes, great access to fishing, but the Animus River, of course, a little further, that's about 35 to 40 minutes. You're gonna be in town Durango. Let's talk a little bit more about a specific listing I'm gonna read a little bit of a description from a specific listing that was in here. So this specific listing, I'm not gonna give the specific address, it's already sold, but it was a 3.66 acre wooded lot, backs up to National Forest, looks over at Castle Rock and the Hermosa Cliffs. And then what came with this specific listing, again, it's just this listing, not all listings, but what came with this one was an all club Glacier Club membership valued at $100,000, also included. Glacier is a private community located just a few minutes from here, private golf club, club and it comes with 18 hole golf course, two clubhouses, new state of the art fitness facility, several pools and spas, tennis courts. They've also got pickleball courts, really nice walking trails throughout. We'll actually be showing you that subdivision in a little bit. But what's amazing is this subdivision is not in it, but yet that one home still had access to those amenities and came with that membership. So keep that in mind. Some of these neighborhoods, you might have that access to those memberships as well. All right, let's head down the road over to Twilight Peaks and show you that subdivision. Now we're over at Twilight Peaks. So we're just about four to 800 yards down the road, south of Two Dogs, a subdivision that we were just at. Now, if you're just watching this clip, I'll tell you a little bit about the area. We'll actually put up on the screen the distance to downtown Durango, less than 40 minutes, then the distance to Purgatory Ski Resort. We're less than five minutes away from Purgatory Ski Resort, but let's focus more on the subdivision itself. Now, what really sets apart this subdivision is these Aspen and Spruce trees all throughout this subdivision. You don't get a lot of neighborhoods that have so many aspen trees as you can see behind me. And in the videos we're showing you so many aspen trees throughout the subdivision. And although you can't tell from where I'm standing at the gate, this subdivision really has some beautiful, beautiful views. So the subdivision looks at Twilight Peak, North Twilight Peak, South Twilight Peak, West Needle Mountain, and Snowden Peak. So depending on where the home is situated, it may or may not see all of those peaks, but it kind of looks directly at a across from the highway at those peaks. And the subdivision climbs in elevation just a little bit, but enough to get some views of these peaks from these homes. And again, kind of tucked in the trees. Now, something you can probably hear right now is we're right off of Highway 550. So a big concern you might have is, can I hear a lot of that traffic from the home? And interestingly enough, a lot of these trees do block some of that noise. 
space and just how the subdivision is developed and made. You don't hear a lot of that noise because the homes are backed up off the road more than where I'm standing right here, but you do hear some of that noise. A lot of these subdivisions, even though they're in the two plus million price point, will still hear a little bit of noise. Now keep in mind, like I just mentioned, a lot of these developers did a really good job of blocking that noise with either trees or pushing these homes back off the road further and just did a good job of pushing that noise or making that noise a lot less. So again, like I mentioned earlier, make sure to let me know if you're curious about this subdivision, if you like it, but you're a little concerned about the noise, more than happy to walk through a specific house or walk through the neighborhood, give you a real good feel of the traffic. Because where I'm standing here, of course you hear the noise, but I am outside of the gate. So let's talk a little bit more about the subdivision. Another thing that is interesting that I'll kind of contrast from this subdivision to others like Wyndham or Two Dogs is you don't back up to trails. Now there are three homes that back up to the National Forest, but otherwise most homes do not back up to the trails because they back up to those cliffs behind us there. Now because homes are a little bit smaller in here than some of these other neighborhoods, you do get a little bit lower prices to get into this mountain area that's really, really nice because most homes in here are gonna be two million plus just in this mountain area. But the highest home sold in here was a 1.525 million. Now just to get into this mountain resort area, your average home sale is about, or median home price is about 1.5 million. But in this subdivision, home prices are a little bit lower, partly because home sizes are a little bit lower. They're ranging from 2213 to 4535 in here. Then lot sizes are gonna range from an acre to 2.2 acres. Highest home sold in here was 1.525 million. Now elevation in here is gonna be 8947, so you are gonna get a lot of snow in here. Again, I wanna reference you guys to Durango Weather Guy. You can look at what some of this area gets for snow. You could look at the Purgatory Resort area. You could look at Purgatory Lakes. Just look at some of these neighborhoods in here. Two Dogs, Twilight Peaks, which is this subdivision. You can look on his blog from back in the winter and get a good feel for what the snowfall was like in the last winter. Granted, last winter we didn't get as much snow is a more mild winter. The year before we got a lot more snow, so you can kind of take that for what it is. Now I mentioned earlier, Purgatory Ski Resort's only about five minutes away, obviously depending on traffic, but Wolf Creek Ski Resort, just about two hours away, a little bit over two hours away from here. Durango High School, City Market, all just under 30 minutes away from here, or approximately 30 minutes. And then you've got La Plata County Airport at under 50 minutes, right around 50 minutes. And downtown Durango sitting right around 30 minutes, depending on which part of downtown Durango you're going to. So really not that bad of a drive. If you want to be kind of in that 30 minute bubble, you are checking that box here. And again, you've got some great amenities around you. We've got a great pizza place right across the street within walking distance as well. Now regarding those trails, we are right next door to the convenience store and gas station, which has a nice parking lot there where you can park, or of course you could just walk if you lived here to the Elbert Creek Trail. Elbert Creek Trail is 9.9 .9 miles and has stunning views of this entire valley area. Really, really pretty views, and it's only a couple miles up to those views. And so you don't have to do that whole hike to get those stunning views. I'd say roughly you're looking at hour and a half to two hour hike, depending on how fast you hike, or if you're doing it in the winter or summer, of course. Keep in mind, phenomenal snowshoeing as well in the winter. Now let's tell you a little bit more about the subdivision. So it started in 1993, and again, kind of those pros to the subdivision is proximity to the ski resort. You're less than five minutes to the ski resort here. And I want to mention there are some really nice water features throughout the subdivision, but there is no fishing in the subdivision. Now I'd say most of the homeowners here are, are using these homes as vacation homes or second homes. There are a few year round residents, but mostly these are gonna be vacation homes. Now going back to how I mentioned, a lot of these lots have really good views. Keep in mind that to get these good views, they are gonna be a little bit steeper lots. For the most part, you're not gonna have a really flat lot in here. These lots are central water, central sewer, but they are on propane. Then the HOA is 300 quarterly, covers trash, water, snow removal and road maintenance. Now, keep in mind, let's just kind of recap for you real quick and just say that overall, what I love about this subdivision, a lot of aspens, a lot of spruce trees throughout, you get some great views and you back up to that Albert Creek Trail. Also the convenience store, pizza place right across from you. So walking distance to those, and you're still really close to Purgatory Ski Resort, about 30 minutes from downtown Durango and in town Durango. Let me know if you have other questions on this one. If you would like some HOA docs, covenants, bylaws, et 
etc. Happy to get those over to you. Let's move on to our next subdivision. Now we're over in the Castle Rock subdivision. This is a gated subdivision and there are really exquisite homes in here again. The highest home sold in here is 3.37 million and you've got homes really ranging in price because of this lot sizes and home sizes really range in here. We'll get into that in a minute. I want to start with really the draw to this neighborhood is again you're very close to Purgatory Ski Resort. Under 10 minutes we'll throw up the distance up on the screen. We'll also put the distance up on the screen to downtown Durango. We're still under 40 minutes from downtown Durango but across the street from you here you've got those views of Needles Mountain and what's amazing is you really get that view a little bit better in the winter because of the leaves on the trees falling. You're still going to have a little bit of that view but you're pretty tucked in the trees here. Now driving by this subdivision it's kind of unassuming you just kind of see a hill and see a bunch of trees but the subdivision climbs in elevation so that you get some really good views from a lot of these homes. Of course it does vary like I mentioned because of those trees being kind of surrounded in those aspen and spruce trees. As I turn around here you can kind of see the gate behind me really nicely paved road throughout but a very small subdivision as well. Home sizes in here 2441 all the way up to 6441. Lot sizes really ranging from 0.23 about a quarter acre up to 2.098 and to kind of elaborate on that, it will be central water, central sewer, but homes will be on propane here. Then let's talk about elevation. You're just under 9,000 feet at 8914 here. So again, getting in that example I gave earlier, you're getting close to 30 inches of snow here when you're getting about five inches of snow in downtown Durango for comparison. So you're getting quite a bit more snow up here, of course, because we're still really close to Purgatory Ski Resort. And you know, you're just getting, you're at much higher elevation up here. Then the the HOA is 6,000 per year. The main reason that number is up that high, again, is it's covering central water, central sewer, and road maintenance. So these roads are gonna be plowed, but they're not plowing your specific driveway. So you will have to pay additionally for that. I'd like to mention in this video that that's gonna be somewhere around 100 to $200 for them to plow your driveway, depending on the amount of snow, the time it takes some, et cetera. Happy to give you some references of who I'd recommend giving a call to. Let's discuss a little bit more about distance to things. Like I mentioned earlier, you're roughly about 30 minutes to downtown Durango. So we came from about 36 down to 30 from the subdivision up at Two Dogs. Now we're close, we're getting closer to downtown Durango as we move further south. And so 49 minutes to the airport, roughly about 25, 26 minutes to Durango High School and under 25 minutes or approximately 25 minutes to City Market to kind of our main grocery store that most people use. I'll mention that we do have a couple other great grocery stores. We've got Nature's Oasis, which is kind of like your Whole Foods, if you well. And then we've got Natural Grocers as well, which is a national chain, so you might be aware of them. Now some great trails. I just mentioned another trail that's just down the road from here. Still got that trail real close by. Elbert Creek, 9.9 .9 mile trail. And there's a ton of national forest around here with a ton of great trails just in general. We'll throw up on the screen a map of all the trails all around this subdivision. So you can kind of just get an idea. And then I always recommend going to All Trails or the Hiking Project, your, your favorite you know, trails app to kind of check out this area. Also recommend downloading Onyx, the Onyx app, and you can get a feel for the topography, but what this backs up to. So to elaborate on that, it does back up to National Forest, but you've got those cliffs. Let's see if you can see them in, can't really see them very well, but you've got the cliffs that back right up to the subdivision. So although it backs up to National Forest, don't really have any hiking trails backed up to this subdivision. So when you're comparing subdivisions, I think I mentioned this earlier, like this subdivision to one maybe just across the street, like Wyndham or Two Dogs, some of these others that are across the highway, those or a lot of those are gonna have a lot better hiking and trails access because they're not backing up to these cliffs. So that's gonna be one big comparison you're gonna to wanna to make. Now, of course, the other thing is availability of homes. There's only a few homes in a lot of these subdivisions as they're just very small one or two or three road subdivisions. So that's really the big thing that's gonna matter. Although these subdivisions are gorgeous and have exquisite homes, very nice lots, there's not very many homes in them in 
general. Let's talk a little bit more, just kind of recap real quick. So higher elevation, you are gonna get a lot of snow here, roughly 30 minutes to downtown Durango, really close to Purgatory Ski Resort. You're gonna see a lot of these homes being vacation homes, second homes for people, and you have great access to trails, no real water, no ponds, no rivers running through this subdivision. There are some others that we're gonna show you later and some others just in general. If that's something you wanna see, if you wanna check out these HOA docks, if you have other specific criteria you're looking for, reach out, more than happy to get that to you and hop on a call and discuss exactly what you're looking for. But for now, let's head over to the next subdivision. Now we're outside of Wyndham Ranch. Now what really sets this ranch apart, this subdivision apart, is its views. So all of these homes in here have stunning views of Needles Mountain and that mountain range on that side of us. Now some of these homes have views of Electra Lake, but not all of them. They all do back up to National Forest, however. They back up to 3 million acres of San Juan National Forest, which also gives you access to hiking, horseback riding, snowshoeing, skiing as well, and much, much more. You have all of that to enjoy. And so compared to, like I just mentioned with some of these other subdivisions, compared to the subdivisions on the other side of the highway, you have that stunning access that really sets this subdivision apart from many others. Now, because of the beauty and the views from these lots, there's also been a conservation easement placed on part of this property so that no other development can be done. So they've really done a phenomenal job of protecting those views. Then there are really nice grassy meadows, views of Aspen and Aspen throughout this entire subdivision. So some animals that you might see in this subdivision are bear, elk, deer. You're gonna see a lot of birds throughout. You're gonna see eagles, you're gonna see views of hawks, especially because of all that water access, because of Electra Lake, because of the National Forest. You're gonna see a lot more hawks, a lot more eagles than you might otherwise. I've seen some great photography come from Electra Lake of these eagles, ospreys coming in and catching fish. So you'll see some phenomenal wild life in here especially just on those hikes as well in that national forest behind the property. Now, something else that really sets this subdivision apart is as you drive in here, you'll see that these lots are, and the homes are really backed up off of the road. So you can barely see the homes and they also all have their own gate as well. So you have this gate here, then each lot has their own gate to the home as well. All these homes are on a well, septic and propane. And something else that's really nice is there's really good restrictions on building. There are specific building envelopes for each lot so that the homes that go up don't take away from the view of the other homes. Then Wyndham Ranch is a designated Glacier Club community, which means you have access to those Glacier Club amenities. You're able to buy into that club. So we'll actually put up on the screen some information about the club, some membership information right now while I'm talking. What I love about Glacier is the golf course is absolutely exquisite. Very, very well done golf course. They have several different golf courses. A lot of it has some great water features throughout. Fairly narrow golf course, as I've spoke to some others that really like golfing there as well. And then we have done a video on golfing, so reach out if you wanna check out that video. I've done that in the past and happy to provide that to you. And then we are also going to go and show you that golf course and that subdivision in more detail in just a minute as well. All right, now let's talk about some stats. So highest home sold in here, 8.745 million. Um, home size is really, really rare range in this subdivision, going from 5,532 all the way up to 11,700 square feet. Lot sizes also range a little bit from 12 to just over 35 acres in here. And then like I mentioned, septic well propane in here, elevation 86, 94. So you're gonna get a little bit less snow, but still quite a bit of snow in here. Again, for comparison, you might be in that 25 inch range when downtown Durango is getting about five inches of snow. Now we'll put up on the screen the distance to Purgatory Ski Resort, but you're still really close to Purgatory here. Then distance to Wolf Creek Ski Resort, just over two hours from here. City Market, downtown Durango area is gonna be about 25 minutes, at least under 30 minutes to City Market, depending on where you're, or what the traffic is like and if it's the winter. Then downtown Durango is roughly 30 minutes, airport about 45, Durango High School, a little bit under 30, right around 30, I should say. We'll make sure to put all that up on the screen as well. Then you're only about 11 minutes from Haviland Lake, roughly 10 minutes from Electra Lake, 
really close to some phenomenal lakes. These homes do back up to Electra Lake, do look at Electra Lake from a few of the homes, but you don't really have direct access from these homes to get to the lake. So I wanna maybe put that into context, make sure you're aware of that. You don't have direct water access here. As you drive into this subdivision, check out this beautiful pond and these views behind me. You have really stunning views coming into this subdivision. If you're really looking for that grand entrance, you definitely have that in this subdivision. And right now is the perfect time. Today is October 8th and the leaves are changing it is absolutely stunning here I want to point that out because that's the reason a lot of you guys want to check out this area and move here. all right so right now we'll actually just put up on the screen the distance to certain amenities we'll put up on the screen the distance to downtown durango put up on the screen the distance to la plata county airport which is under 50 minutes from here put up on the screen the distance to city market kind of the main grocery store that most people shop at and then we'll actually put up on the screen the distance to nature's oasis as well as natural grocers right now as well and then Durango High School. Durango High School is gonna be approximately 30 minutes, but we'll put that on the screen, give you guys a good feel of what the distance is from here to downtown Durango. Now, I wanna give you some context here. This home is getting close to kind of that halfway point between Purgatory and kind of the start of this mountain resort area. We're getting closer to that kind of middle area. And as we're doing this video, we're just getting closer and closer to the Animus Valley and then closer to downtown Durango. But we're starting to get kind of within that 30 minute bubble of downtown Durango here. All right, we're now in Glacier and Glacier is really different and unique in several different ways. It backs up to about 3 million acres of national forest, kind of surrounded by national forest on all sides of it. And it is a golf subdivision. So it's got two private golf courses that go throughout the neighborhood with a lot of homes either situated on the golf course or looking over the golf course. Now to just tell you a little bit more about the topography and kind of what this subdivision is like, what it feels like, like, which I think is sometimes some of the most important information is fairly forested, but kind of thinned out fairly nicely. And having that golf course in here really gives it some amazing views. So it's not just forest that you're staring at, but not just that, that a lot of homes have some really, really nice views. This isn't just kind of your typical forested neighborhood, if you will. You've got a lot of homes and subdivisions within Glacier that have some really, really stunning lots. So a good way to explain it is there's a lot of like kind of cliff side and edges or ledges, if you will, that these homes are built up on to really capture these stunning views. And that's why you'll see the prices really reflect those lots because the lots are, the homes are stunning, but the lots are much more incredible than even the homes themselves because they get these incredible stunning views from just every single home throughout the subdivision. Now, like I was alluding to, I'll explain the neighborhood a little bit. So as you come into Glacier, it is easy to get in here. The Glacier itself is not gated, but then each little specific specific subdivision within Glacier is gated. So you've got these really exclusive gated neighborhoods just to get to the home themselves. And as you get up to these homes, you'll see very traditional kind of mountain modern homes and cabins as they call them. And again, really nice views. You will see prices are a lot higher than as you get down into the Animus Valley. And some of these homes are even higher priced than if you go further north. However, it just varies because these lots are very different from a lot of those lots up further north. Now in Glacier, you have two golf courses. You have two fully appointed clubhouses. You've got three pools, one of which is an indoor pool. And then you have several different dining options as well. You've also got a golf simulator and you've got a kind of yoga studio, yoga area slash Pilates area as well. And the gym Pilates area are really, really stunning because they have these amazing views of the forest and of those cliffs that are bordering this area, this subdivision as well. So the gym is awesome. Just walked through the gym the other day and I love the different amount of different types of equipment it has from power racks to bikes to Pelotons to Jacob's Ladder. We've got so many different things in there. They've got a sauna. Again, the pool is really awesome. So those amenities are really, really nice. The restaurants are great. We've eaten at Mineshaft in the past. I really enjoy eating there. The views are amazing. It's hard to find a restaurant, several restaurants that have that good of views as well, kind of tucked in the forest, but also has these really nice views. So a lot going for the amenities here as well. Now, home sizes are going to really range. They're 1303 square feet up to 8254 square feet. Lot sizes ranging from 0 0.02 acre, really, really small lot sizes, all the way up to just over an acre at 1.29 acres in here. Now, it is central 
water, central sewer, and elevation 7572. You are getting quite a bit more snow here than in town Durango, but quite a bit less than up near Purgatory. So kind of somewhere in the middle. You could be, you know, real, relatively speaking, about 100 to 120 inches above. Then you're at 7572 feet elevation. So you are going to get quite a bit more snow than in town Durango, but compared to some of the other neighborhoods we were talking about, you're getting quite a bit less than areas like Purgatory. We've come down in elevation quite a bit. Where we're close to 9,000 feet, we're now down at about 75, quite a bit less, but you still are getting a lot. Now keep in mind, they do a great job of plowing these roads and you can always pay someone to hit your driveway as well. Now the HOA dues really do range, starting at about $600 quarterly, going up to about 18 to 1,900 quarterly. They're mainly covering snow removal and road maintenance. Then we'll put up on the screen the distance to Durango High School. We'll put up on the screen the distance to La Plata County Airport as well as downtown Durango. Show you all of those. We are getting much closer. You're kind of within that 30 minute bubble here or a little bit outside that, depending on where we're going, of course. But downtown Durango, definitely under 30 minutes from here. And then let's talk about skiing. So you're only about 12, 15 minutes from Purgatory Ski Resort. And from here, you're less than two hours to Wolf Creek. Then trails, you're really close to Golden Creek Trail. I hiked slash ran this trail the other day, or I should say a month ago or so, and uh, on a training run and I really really like this trail it's kind of just across the street up the road a little bit you're really really close you honestly could if you just run across or walk across the highway you're just about there that trail is awesome fairly steep but it gets some stunning views within maybe a mile of hiking slash running on that trail let's tell you a little bit about uh, distance to some things about 13 to 15 minutes from Electra Lake less than 10 minutes to Haviland Lake we'll put that distance up on the screen and I always want to mention that distance kind of depends based based on what, what home we're taking to put in the GPS from Glacier or from any subdivision for that matter. And then closest restaurant, of course, you've got two restaurants here in Glacier that are really good. Again, I recommend Mineshaft. They are really, really good. Got some great food in there. Now for clarification, if you buy a home in Glacier, you would have to be part of the membership. You would have to have a membership. So let's give you a little bit of information on those memberships. I'm gonna look down at my notes, make sure I get this correct. So let's talk about the Platinum membership. So we'll start with what it includes unlimited golf and no green fees, access to mountain and valley golf courses, mountain and valley clubhouses, fitness center, indoor pool, tennis, pickleball courts, social events, and activities. 30-day advanced golf sign up, $30 cart fee per person, 30-day advanced tennis sign up, no court fee, complimentary locker, golf handicap service, and golf bag storage, fitness classes with no fee, then outside winter adventures, including tubing, cross country, and skate skiing, e-fat bike, sledding, hiking, and snowshoeing to Chris Park with no fee. On-site summer adventures, including tennis, pickleball clinics, e-biking, mountain biking, hiking from the property to Chris Park, and off-site group hiking with no fee. Those fees, 100,000 initiation fee, non-refundable 50K, 11.95 per month, and then 1,200 per year for trail fee and privately owned golf cart, and then 2,000 per year annual food and beverage minimum. So jumping down to gold that's going to be less that's going to be 50k initiation 25 initiation that is non-refundable 777 dues per month that one's going to change i'm happy to send that over to you don't want to go on and on about all the details too much but that's going to change just let me know main thing i'm seeing here 65 dollars green fees per player 100 dollars green fees per player for the mountain course and then let's see seven day advanced golf sign up for additional tee times on valley golf course at guest rate so those are kind of the main ones there's a few other differences but reach out if you have any questions on that happy to send you this document that i'm reading off of here and guys i really love this area i think it really helps if you have specific questions on specific properties as the properties are all very different regarding the views kind of what they're like what the atmosphere is like around the specific properties some are very forested some have very incredible views and don't have aren't very forested at all so they can really vary just let me know if you're considering considering a property out here in general. Happy to hop on a call and just discuss that more with you, what it's like to be out here, what it's like to live out here. Just give you more of a specific feel. And that goes for any of the properties we discussed, any areas we discussed. From here, we're actually gonna clip in a video I shot recently of another subdivision called Durango Ridge Ranch. Really excited to show you this area. Let's head over there now. All right, so before we head over to Celadon, probably the subdivision I'm most excited to show you, I wanted to pull over to the side of the road and show you Baker's Bridge. 
We are here at Baker's Bridge. Check out the water behind me. This area is really, really cool. And to explain kind of where we're at more, this is really at the top of County Road 250. Before it starts hitting, it kind of curves around the corner. And right on that curve is Celadon, this beautiful gated community I'm gonna show you in a second. But it curves around the corner and it's a really popular spot to road bike, to run. And it's just this nice flat road, curves around into the Animus Valley and goes all the way into downtown or into in-town Durango, I should say. Then on this other side of me, on the other side of the bridge right here, of course, is the Animus River flowing this way. And a lot of the properties in Celadon are up that way. There's a home just up, up the river from us here. So we're gonna head over to Celadon, stand in front of the gate and tell you a little bit about that area. Let's head over there now. Now I'm really excited to bring you this next subdivision. We're here outside of the gate of Celadon. So Celadon is right off of Kenner Road 250, which is already a really coveted road, county road to live off of, which is right here in the Animus Valley. So this subdivision is kind of at the top of the Animus Valley where it starts to climb in elevation. And you'll see that in this subdivision. So I'm gonna start by saying, if you want a really pancake flat lot, this is not the subdivision for you. This has really nice rolling hills, a lot of mountainous terrain in here. and each home does a really good job of getting some stunning, stunning views. So you're gonna have homes getting views all the way to Durango going south and north looking up at Engineer Mountain as well. Now what's incredible about this subdivision is it does back up to National Forest with some amazing trails, private access to those trails. So you're able to horseback ride, snowshoe, ski, hike, run on those trails, even bike on those trails. And you're of course gonna see all kinds of animals from deer to elk, the occasional mountain lion and bear. So make sure to bring that bear spray with you of course. Now the home sizes really range in here from 990 square feet all the way up to 8600 square feet. Stunning homes and the lots are even better. So the lots like I mentioned, have some phenomenal views, but the lots also have some great water access. There's five lots in here that have their own private ponds, and then there are many lots that have access to either a creek or a river, or the Animus River to be exact, with amazing flowing water right through it. Now keep in mind, with the Animus River going by these lots, you can boat on, you know, either paddleboard or boat from your property down to certain takeouts that are down the road. You could take out at Oxbow. Oxbow is probably gonna be the best takeout but there is another small takeout especially if you're paddle boarding over at Dalton Ranch area so you've got some great points regarding the distance and the time that you might be paddle boarding you might do a two hour paddle board or so if you're going from here to Dalton Ranch that's just approximate so there's some great access to water in the right time of year it's not going to be white water it's not going to be scary water if you're considering just coming here to paddle board just so that you know what that water is like and the neighborhood has underground utilities it is gated like you can see here but homes are going to be well septic and propane in here. Now let's talk about elevation and snow. You're all the way down at 70 to 86 feet elevation here. So you're getting quite a bit less snow. We're a lot closer to the elevation of downtown Durango. You are higher, so you're gonna get more snow here, but nothing compared to up near Purgatory and the other subdivisions that we were discussing earlier in this video. All right, now we'll put on the screen the distance to things such as downtown Durango, but we're about 24, 25 minutes from downtown Durango. We're using the straighter hotel as a reference point there. And then we're going to be even closer to city market, closer to the airport than a lot of these other properties that we were just showing you. But we'll put on the screen the distance to the airport as well as Durango High School so we can get that exact and show you that exact distance. Overall, I just want to give you kind of my feeling overall, kind of recap some of what we talked about. So I really, really like this subdivision in that you're really private, nice big lots, stunning lots, and a lot of them have water on them as well. Access to that high and there's not many things you're missing out here, to be honest. Now you're getting those views and yet you're still in this kind of fairly forested area. A lot of the times you'll see in my videos, a lot of the times you're missing one or the other. You're not getting any forest if you're getting views. And sometimes when you're in the forest, you're just in the forest like you can see right here. Now, as you go back into the subdivision, it's not like it is just right here. It kind of climbs in elevation and you're getting some really nice views from a lot of these homes. So to me, you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting those views, you're getting water access. A lot of these homes are on the river or at least on a pond or on a creek. And then let's talk road biking. The road that's going right by here, Kenner Road 250 is really well known for road biking. And I personally am a distance runner and love to run on this road because it's fairly flat, flat and fast, and you don't have a lot of traffic on here either. So if you're thinking about the winter, what's the roads like, this road is really gonna be pretty good in the winter. Now I will say, 
say that it is fairly forested, so you are gonna have more shaded spots on the road than you would have in some other areas, maybe south of town. But overall, it's gonna be really good because it's very flat, so you're not gonna be going up a windy road to get into town and fairly easy access to Highway 550 as well, which they do a great job of plowing in the winter. Mailboxes right over here, locked mailboxes right behind me. Again, gated, you don't hear barely any noise from here to the highway. You barely hear any highway noise, whereas most of these videos, or most of these neighborhoods rather, that I've been talking to you about, you can hear a reasonable amount of highway noise. Now, horses are allowed in here. HOA is gonna be 700 per month. That's gonna cover landscaping, trash, snow removal, maintenance, and management, as well as road maintenance. Now, we're only about 16 minutes from Purgatory Ski Resort here and about two hours from Wolf Creek Ski Resort as well. Then closest fishing, if your property here in Celadon doesn't have access to the Animus River, is gonna be roughly about 20 minutes, but we'll put on the screen the distance to the Oxbow area, where it's gonna be really your closest public access to the Animus River. River. Then of course there's some great access to the Animus River in town Durango as well. Roughly 23-24 minutes into that area. Now something I didn't mention that you don't see in many subdivisions is this subdivision actually has its own private caretaker. It will plow the roads, plow your private driveway as well, and also pick you up from the airport, check in on your home when you're away, especially if this is a vacation home, that could be really helpful for you. So keep that in mind. Let me know if you have specific questions on that, you want to see any HOA docs, or just get any information about more information about this subdivision as well. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there are several homes or about five homes that have their own private lake. So I'm actually going to read some information from a listing that was recently sold. Now, keep in mind, this is not available right now, but just want to give you an idea of what this subdivision has to offer and what one of these listings had to offer. So I'm going to look down and read that for you guys. So it sounds like the owner actually created two miles of hiking, biking, ATV trails, lead you down to the lake and your own private dock for kayaking, paddle boarding and much much more you can swim just use that lake it has 1500 feet of shoreline it also talked about just the abundance of different animals from raptors to turkey to deer like I mentioned earlier so I want you guys to keep in mind that so many of these properties are so so unique you can create so much on this especially from 30 to 70 acres those ponds that access to the river or the creek depending on the lot to me this subdivision has so much to offer and there's not much this is sub that this subdivision doesn't have to offer the only issue is going to be, is there a home on the market? Can we find you something where sellers willing to sell? Because of course, so many of these owners want to hold on to these properties because they are so exquisite and there's not a ton of lots in here. But let me know if you're considering moving and you really like this subdivision. I'm happy to do a little bit of legwork. I've got some contacts that live in this subdivision and happy to let them know that you are considering this subdivision and let them know that I've got a client looking here. So let's head over to Red Rock Ranch now. This is a really cool subdivision and excited to show you this one as well. All right, now we're over in Red Rock Ranch. So we came down in elevation. We're at lower elevation, about 6611, pretty close, very similar to downtown Durango. So you're gonna get a similar amount of snow in this subdivision. And for reference, you're under 20 minutes to downtown Durango from this subdivision. So we're getting closer to town. We're now in the Animus Valley. And I would also argue that the Animus Valley is probably one of the most coveted areas, the most desired areas in all of Durango. So let's go over a few stats. The highest home sold in Red Rock Ranch was sold for 2.675 million. And a little bit more info regarding lots. There was a lot recently sold. I don't believe there's any available anymore, but there was one recently sold for just about a million. To give you an idea, this area is very coveted. And home sizes range from 2410 to 6175. So there are some very big homes in here. All these homes are nicely spread out. They're all on roughly 0.7 to 1.62 acres. And central water, central sewer, you're not having to worry about septic and well in here. HOA covers irrigation as well as snow removal. And as you can see behind me here, you've got this really nice pond that is stocked with rainbow trout. And so something else that I really like about this subdivision is its walkability and its connection to some other subdivisions so that you can go for a nice walk or run. So it backs up or connects to several subdivisions such as the Cottonwoods, Dalton Ranch, you've got the Cove, you've also got Blue Sky Ranch, so a bunch of subdivisions that it connects to where you can get in a two to three mile walk or run without going on a major highway or a bigger, busier county road. Most, for context, most of the homes in this area are just right off of Kenner Road 250 or Kenner Road 
203. And then there's a lot of little tiny subdivisions that are maybe less than half a mile of road going through the subdivision. So let's talk about noise, road noise. You can hear a little bit of Highway 550 from this subdivision. So if you really wanna be in a subdivision or an area where you just can't hear any noise at all, this probably isn't the subdivision for you. But I will say from a marketability, saleability standpoint, that definitely doesn't deter people. So if you're looking at a home where, hey, I want good resale value, I wouldn't worry too much about that. And why I bring that up is I wanna kind of dial in, narrow in on the amount of noise. You don't hear much at all, but but it's just there. It's kind of that background noise. If you set up a fountain in your backyard, you probably won't hear it at all. Just to elaborate on that a little bit. Livestock allowed in here. I don't believe any is allowed in here. Let me know if you want to check out the HOA docs. More than happy to send that over to you. You can fence your property or at least parts of your property. Again, there's some HOA restrictions on that type of fencing, those kind of things. But driving through here, you do see some split rail fences, some small amount of fencing in here. Now let's talk about distance to things. So we're about 19 minutes to the Double Tree Hotel, approximately. Under 40 minutes to the airport, close to 15 minutes to Durango High School, and under 15 minutes to City Market. We'll also, of course, put those on the screen. Then we are just about 20 minutes to Purgatory Ski Resort, another reason why this area is a really coveted area. You're a lot closer to Purgatory Ski Resort. Then you're about an hour, just, just under two hours to Wolf Creek Ski Resort as well. Now let's talk about trail access. There are some great trails close by. There's nothing within walking distance necessarily, but there's Stevens Creek Trail as well as Halfland Creek Trail, which goes right up Missionary Ridge. You can't see it, but right behind me here. So I'd say about five to 10 minute drive to those trailheads. In a previous video, I went and showed you guys the amount of parking that is at both of those trailheads. Now, one of those, there's really only a spot for one car. Sometimes I'll just park on the side of the road, but there's rarely ever anybody there at that spot. And then at the other trailhead, there's a nice big parking lot and there's hardly ever a bunch of cars there. There's usually a couple cars there, but there's always some great access to those trails. Then there are also some trails across the valley that direction turn the camera and show you and there's a nice trail that kind of goes up that ridge behind us there that gets some really nice views as well now we've also got some great access to fishing in this area. Now you don't have direct access to the river right here in this subdivision, but you for one have this nice pond right behind us here. So if you wanna do some quick fishing, you've got a stocked pond right here. And then access to the Animus River in this area. Let's talk about that a little bit. The closest access is probably gonna be, unless you have friends in other neighborhoods that have some private water here, is gonna be Oxbow, which is about five, seven minutes south of here on your way into town. So it's kind of right on the north edge of Durango as you're getting into the valley. And so there's some access there. You can also put in paddle boards, put in boats. If you've got kids or just if you wanna hang out in the water in general, it's a great spot to just jump in and swim and just enjoy the water. They've got a nice little beach area. They've got some nice trails. That's also the spot where the Animus River Trail ends. So it's an 8.9 mile Animus River Trail, ends right there and then turns into a little dirt trail that goes into the nature preserve there. I did talk to the city and they're actually extending that trail. Gonna do some work on some land that they just purchased recently just off of that area as well. Then you're roughly about 30 minutes to Lake Nighthorse. Really phenomenal lake. I love it because there's a there's a nice little beach there. We just took our kids there the other day. Really fun place to take the kids. They've got buoys that you can swim out to. My dad and I love going swimming out there. And they've got a really nice little play area, kind of like inflatable play area with slides and things you can jump off of for kids. Really awesome area. We do allow wakes on certain days, certain hours, so you can bring your boat out there. Really amazing lake. There's a lot of other lakes. We've got Vicedo, we've got Lemon Reservoir, those are further out. They're roughly 40 plus minutes, over 40 minutes away from here. And let's talk a little bit more about this subdivision as well. Then keep in mind that we just about back up to Dalton Ranch, which is a subdivision that has a golf course going through it. 18 holes, about 16 of the 18 holes are on water. Plays really fair. I actually interviewed slash spoke to somebody that golfs all around the world and just asked him what he thought of it. And he kind of told me that it is his favorite golf course. He moved here for that reason. Reason. And he said it plays really fair. He mentioned that it is challenging, but yet fair. And he really likes it overall, just to kind of give you a report from him. Feel free.
free to reach out. Let me know if you golf. I'm more than happy to discuss a little bit more details, get you more details on that golf course. Then they are within walking distance to PJ's Gourmet Market, as well as a liquor store that's right next to them, as well as Trimble Hardware. So they're really just right around the corner from here, maybe about 400 yards or so. And there is a little trail that you can walk on to get there. So really nice that you have that amenity because most subdivisions, really any subdivisions other than Dalton Ranch and the several other subdivisions I mentioned, don't really have easy access to that. You know, you got to drive. Still really nice that they have that here in the valley for everybody. I will say prices are a little bit higher than going into town, going to city market. So it's a spot that, you know, sometimes we grab some ice at or grab some ice cream at. Now, I want to give you a little bit more perspective and compare this subdivision to others. I would say this is one of the most high-end neighborhoods in this area, but you're also not surrounded by homes that are much lesser value than this area at the same time. So a neighborhood that's next door to this neighborhood is going to be the Cottonwoods. And then the Cottonwoods is a subdivision that's part of Dalton Ranch. Both of those subdivisions still very, very nice homes. You're seeing homes selling for close to 2 million, but averaging a little closer to 1.8 two to 1.5 without looking and going and looking at the stats. We're kind of right in that range over in Dalton Ranch and you're getting closer to 2 million over in this area. You definitely have homes that are lower, but you're closer to that 2 million mark than the 1.5 mark over here in Red Rock Ranch. There is, I believe, one home on the market right now that's just over two. One recently went under contract that's close to two. And part of that is bigger acreage, bigger lots here. Very, very beautiful flat lots with grass like you see behind me. And you've got a lot of pine trees, but you've also got a lot of aspen in here, some cottonwoods mixed in, just very nice lush green landscaping throughout. Very well done landscaping. If you're looking for more of a subdivision that's more tucked in the trees, tucked in the forest, this maybe isn't the subdivision for you. This has a little bit more views. I wouldn't say it has those big grand mountain views, but you have these red cliffs on either side of you. So depending on where the home is at, you get some of those views. Some of them are kind of just more tucked in, more of that kind of park-like feel. And there's not very many homes in this subdivision. So it's not this big, huge subdivision where you kind of get lost in it. You would get to know your neighbors really well in this subdivision. Very easy as you're just going for a walk, easy to meet somebody you know. And so I just wanna give you that perspective. When we talk about some, just going back to talking about some other subdivisions that are very similar or just giving you some contrast in comparison, there aren't very many, I don't believe there are any subdivisions other than the cottonwoods that are very similar in that you've got big homes, flat lots, grass, kind of that park-like feel. Other than the cottonwoods, you've got Dalton Ranch, where a lot of these homes are very small on much smaller lots. Still similar feel in the sense of grass, but much smaller lots. And a lot of the homes don't have fencing around them because they're right on the, on the golf course. And then you've got another subdivision that I kind of alluded to earlier when I mentioned this is in kind of your top two most coveted subdivisions. The other one is gonna be called The Ranch. And they're just up the road by maybe a mile or so north of here. And again, they have most of those lots are pretty small lots. They have a very similar feel, as you can kind of see behind me and in the footage we're showing you, very similar feel of kind of that park-like feel, cottonwoods, pine trees, kind of mixed in with some really nice views. They've also got a bunch of ponds. They've got 26 ponds, 13 of which are stocked. They've got, just to give you quick facts on those, they've got access to the Animus River. They have a 31 acre nature preserve, has about two miles worth of trails throughout. But to compare and contrast, they, for the most part, 80 to 90 percent have very small lots. Then they have some lots that are a little bit bigger that are closer to that half acre. And then they have, I believe, three lots that are closer to three acres. But as a whole, if you're looking for a lot that's closer to that acre mark, half to 1.5 acres. This is a great subdivision. I am really excited to show you this next subdivision. I am at the back of a property, looking out at the views of the La Plata Mountains here in is stunning. As you can kind of tell, stunning. As you can kind of tell behind me, it's got these rolling hills. And what is even more stunning about it is these properties and this subdivision backs up to National Forest right behind me here. So a lot of these owners have horses and they can ride their horses right behind this subdivision. So really, really incredible amenity, if you will, of this subdivision. But these lots are on 35 acre lots. And something else that I really love about it is just these breathtaking views. You can see the La Plata Mountains are right behind me here. A 
lot of these homes have incredible views. Some of these homes even have views of Lake Nighthorse, which barely any homes in the area have any views of Lake Nighthorse just because of how it's situated. A few other things about this subdivision or this home in particular and some of these other homes, they just back right up to that national forest, like I was saying. So not only can you have access to ride your horses back there, you can also hunt back there, of course, with a license and in the right season, but you'll see deer walking through your home or not home, but through your neighborhood, through your property. You'll see elk, you'll see golden eagles, bald eagles flying overhead. You'll see tons of different birds here because you know it backs up right to National Forest. So you're not having the crowded homes that you have in some other neighborhoods. And let's talk a little bit more about the subdivision specifically. Now keep in mind, these homes are gonna be selling for quite a bit more than a lot of your homes in the county because for one, they're on 35 acres. They also have these stunning views and a lot of these homes are quite a bit bigger. And a lot of these are custom, stunning homes designed by the original owner, of course. So they're ranging in size from 2,252 square feet all the way up to 6,008 square feet, 35 acres all the way up to 105 acres, but most are at a 35 acre range or right around there. And then the highest home sold in here was 4.5 million. Then all these homes are in well and septic as well as propane. And then they are on La Plata Electric. So the elevation in here is 7601. So we are climbing a bit higher than in some of these other subdivisions that are closer to town. So you are getting quite a bit of snow in here. So keep that in mind. A lot of these driveways are quite a bit longer. As I discuss in a lot of other videos, definitely recommend getting an ATV with a plow on the end of it. That's kind of the ideal way to go. You could always pay someone to plow your driveway, but that's probably the most ideal is to at least be able to plow your own driveway if you need to, or if you want to. Now let's talk HOA 1300 annually. They are maintaining the roads. They're about to grade them next week because we're in the spring springtime now. And then of course they are plowing them in the winter. They do a really good job of plowing them. Kind of talked to my client that bought this home about that. Then you are allowed to have horses, but with some restrictions. So definitely look into that or check with me on those and I can get you those HOA docs and covenants. Now here fences definitely are allowed. So that is a big perk compared to some other subdivisions. Then the proximity to downtown is to be 20 minutes. I'm using the Doubletree Hotel for reference point, or I should say the proximity to in town because they're kind of right across the street from downtown. Proximity to airport is gonna be, the airport is gonna be 36 minutes. Then Durango High School is gonna be 23 minutes away and City Market is gonna be 20 minutes away. All right, let's talk trails. Really the same distance to in town, 20 minutes to get on the Animus River Trail. It's about an 8.9 mile trail. You can bike, you can walk, you can hike. They do a great job of snow plowing that trail as well in the winter, which is phenomenal. And then you're only about three to four minutes further to three other really awesome trailheads, Animus Mountain, Ned Overend Bike Park, and Horse Gulch. Then Purgatory Ski Resort is 49 minutes away. Now let's talk fishing. You're 20 minutes to the Animus River and about 26 minutes to Lake Nighthorse. Again, there are a bunch of other lakes all around, but those are the ones that are going to be closest as far as fishing goes. Again, reach out to me if you guys are curious about moving here. If you're just curious and you're kind of on the fence looking between other areas in here, just give me a call. I'm a licensed realtor here in Durango as well as New Mexico. Would love to help you guys with all of your real estate needs. Was just sitting down with a client earlier that was watching my YouTube channel reached out to me we had a great conversation and i showed them three homes earlier this morning we discussed those homes walked through them over lunch and i'd love to do that with you guys as well so reach out anytime days nights weekends looking forward to connecting with you guys by the way make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed that way you can check out the next video i'm coming out with looking forward to having some really awesome content in the future we'll see ya